Hello and welcome back. It has been one year and we're back with these guys. We are here back with Zellab at IFA. A year ago, we stumbled across this brand and their new AI locally deployed NAS solution. It went to crowdfunding, we made a few videos about it and here we are one year later and they've returned, showing off the innovation, showing off the, the way they've scaled up, the way they've listened to a lot of the feedback on the evolution of it, and hopefully a realized product for a number of you that back this. Now, we've already talked about the non-Ultra device somewhere. We've already done, I think, a couple of videos on it, and it went to crowdfunding, which has now concluded. But now we're seeing more about not only the capabilities, but also the design of the Ultra, and they have made a few changes to that Ultra series box. But alongside that, there have been a few software changes. So, for example, they have now now started rolling out that mobile application. It's gone into early testing. Not all of the features are currently available. It's things like uh, the photo and video management there, but things like the semantic search have yet to be implemented. And there is limited system control, at least at the time. The brand is telling me that they are gonna scale that up in time for the first series of devices to drop. Uh, returning ever so slightly to the crowdfunding, they're telling me that the D4 and D6 units are going to be started to be dispatched in small groups. Now, they are going to be aiming for September for the first few waves of the D4 and D6 models. They're the ones powered by that RK chip rolling out from those crowdfunding backers. Uh, now, when it comes to the Ultra series of devices, they are saying that they're going to be aiming later towards the year, somewhere towards October, definitely before the end of 2025, they tell me. Uh, but alongside that, the Ultra has seen some changes. So, uh, improvements in the cooling configuration, they've now integrated some new vents into either side of the device because they noticed there was quite a big build-up and then a little bit more of the dissipation of the air coming out of the device. Now, alongside that, there have been a little bit of scale and tweaks and changes to that software. Now, these changes I'm going to go on to affect both the non-Ultra and the Ultra series box. Now, it really comes down into two main bits of feedback they got from multiple reviewers and, of course, backers there in the comments. These came down to how users interfaced with the AI LLM service and how it would return results. So number one, one of the largest bits of feedback they got back was the consolidation of those search results. It is one thing to search for man on the moon and get a bunch of photos of man on the moon, but what if you own an album that has the word man on the moon? They a movie, man on the moon. And that's what they went down into. So they changed the output of a lot of those search results. So now when you go into the search configuration, it differentiates and breaks down into the photo results, document results using the OCR there, and pulling uh, the text-based information for things like MP3 and a multitude of audio files and video files as well. And it gives you those results in a far more single pane of glass, but multiple format types of data all in one. And then they scale on top of that with the knowledge base, which they again have tweaked in the way it's done, allowing you to use the local LLM or AI deploy, or if you're using the non-Ultra system, the client application, it allows you to dig deeper into that. So say for example, you have found a result at Man on the Moon and it's come up with a book, you want to go into there and find out what are the themes of this book or does this contain this, that or the other? And the knowledge base allows you to dig into that. They tell me that they'll allow you to dig into the data. So you've got one tool that allows you to search the NAS using the um, um, search benefits of using a locally deployed LLM to find things with semantic search. And then you've got the knowledge base to kind of tear that data apart a little bit and get more organic assistance there on the other side. But it's great to see them back here at IFA. And it's also great to see organic growth on these products. And it's going to be really interesting to see when these finally hit completion and we get more widespread use of a locally deployed AI. Because even one year on, I know AI in an ass isn't for everyone, but these are the guys, even to date, that have shown me the closest examples of this. But stay tuned, we'll learn more about Zetlab later on and their system. Apart from that, I'll see you on the next video.